Welcome to this edition of Back in History. In Back in History, we take you back in time to the events that occurred in the historical past. In this edition, we bring to you the full text of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's speech delivered by him on Independence Day in Ghana. But before the speech, we consider it important to go back a little into the annals on the history of nation states and independence in Africa. The continent of Africa is one of the richest continents in the world. As a result of its wealth, European forces moved from the shores of their various countries and traveled through the sea routes to Africa. They colonized Africa and in the process, they harnessed its natural resources and transported them back to Europe for industrial purposes. Every part of Africa had something precious to boast of. And this was a symbol of attraction for Europe. The colonial forces enjoyed the natural wealth of Africa for many years and almost forgot themselves in the continent. The natural wealth of Africa was inexhaustible and the colonial forces were not in a hurry to go. They stayed on for many years. But Europe came to Africa with trade, religion, and education. They established schools, religious places of worship, and engaged in trade with Africans. Through the policy on education, thousands of African citizens were educated in schools founded in Africa by the colonial forces, with some citizens proceeding abroad for more education. The end result of this was that Africans, especially the educated ones, began to realize their civil and political rights as a people. This realization eventually translated to mass mobilization and agitation for self-governance. Nationalist movements began to spring up especially among black students in America and other parts of the world. Their mission was simple, namely, to galvanize resources, human and material, and work towards the grant of independence to African countries. It was a long drawn struggle, but eventually it paid off. The grant of independence was possible. Windows were opened for discussion. Concrete steps were taken at home and abroad towards the realization of independence. In 1957, Ghana became the first country in Africa to gain independence from Britain. Its first Prime Minister was Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. On Independence Day, it was his duty to deliver a speech to the people of independent Ghana and to the hearing of the world. Nkrumah mounted the podium and delivered a speech that has been preserved in political, educational, and historical circles till today. Here is the full text of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's speech delivered in Ghana on Independence Day on 6th March 1957. At long last, the battle has ended. And thus, Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. And yet again, I want to take the opportunity to thank the chiefs and people of this country, the youth, the farmers, the women who have so nobly fought and won this battle. Also, I want to thank the valiant ex-service men who have so cooperated with me in this mighty task of freeing our country from foreign rule and imperialism. And as I pointed out, I made it clear that from now on, today, we must change our attitudes, our minds. We must realize that from now on, we are no more a colonial, but a free and independent people. But also, as I pointed out, that also entails hard work. I am depending upon the millions of the country and the chiefs and people to help me to reshape the destiny of this country. We are prepared to pick it up 
and make it a nation that will be respected by every nation in the world. We know we are going to have difficult beginnings, but again, I am relying upon your support. I am relying upon your hard work. Nkrumah went on to say, unquote, seeing you in this, it doesn't matter how far my eyes goes. I can see that you are here in your millions. And my last warning to you is that you are to stand firm behind us so that we can prove to the world that when the African is given a chance, he can show the world that he is somebody. We have awakened. We will not sleep anymore. Today, from now on, there is a new African in the world. That new African is ready to fight his own battles and show that after all, the black man is capable of managing his own affairs. We are going to demonstrate to the world, to the other nations, that we are prepared to lay our own foundation. He went on to say, unquote, as I said in the assembly just minutes ago, I made a point that we are going to create our own African personality and identity. It is the only way that we can show the world that we are ready for our own battles. But today, may I call upon you all that on this great day, let us all remember that nothing in the world can be done unless it has the purpose and support of God. We have won the battle and we again rededicate ourselves. Our independence is meaningless unless it is linked up with the total liberation of Africa. Let us now, fellow Ghanaians, let us now ask for God's blessings and for only two seconds in your thousands and millions, I want to ask you to pause only for one minute and give thanks to Almighty God for having led us through our difficulties, imprisonments, hardships and sufferings to have brought us to the end of our trouble today. One minute silence was thus observed. Nkrumah then added, unquote, Ghana is free forever. End of quote. He then requested for the playing of the national anthem of the brand new country of Ghana. Nkrumah's Independence Day speech was an article of inspiration to several other nations in Africa that were still under colonial rule. His speech shall continue to resonate in Ghana, Africa, and the world for many more years to come. Thanks for watching this episode of Back in History and do remember to subscribe to the channel or follow the page for regular notification on every new video.